have been filming our conversation inadvertently. Right. Um, so I will shut that off now and maybe at some point I'll insert that as its own little bit, especially as I mentioned my new hat. Thank you, Phil. Okay. <laughs> Why not? My name is Tim Palmer. I fly a Jodel DR1050 out of this farm strip in East Anglia. It's, it's nice and it's quite frightening sometimes when you look back and you think, you know, I've done 300 and next week's will be 323, mm. I think. And when I think about the amount of work that goes into them... I was going to say, it must take um, you a couple of hours to edit this lot, doesn't oh, it? Oh, no, more, more than that. This is a very unusual introduction, I appreciate that. Um, my video of last week... Um, is out today so um, I'm just filming this because by the time next week's comes out which will be this video um, <laughs> a lot's going to happen um, I'm taking dad to Norwich to see the first game home game since Covid <laughs> He saw his first ever game of football at Norwich when he was five. Um, he went to Carrow Road when it was opened by George V. Um, when he was five. So he went to his first game when he was five um, and he's supported Norwich ever since. So I shall take him to Norwich a day after that, it's Monuden. Um, hopefully, um, I get to Steve and Lisa's open day. Um, I hope to film that. Then, after that, in the evening, um, we're on the midnight ferry to the Isle of Wight because we're looking after the grandchildren for the last week of their summer holiday. Uh, the two young ones start school on Wednesday. Um, Kate is busy with two different jobs and childcare has been a problem to her over the holiday, which is why we came down here for a week. We took the children back for 10 days and we've tried to help out that, what, that way, one way or another. So all in all, by the time you see this video, everything's going to happen, all right? So, yeah. Um, I have made it a little bit of a catch up from last week's. Uh, a lot of the stuff that I filmed with Rob I didn't actually get to to, to show. Um, I wanted to talk a little bit about some of the checks that people say, well, you know, we'd never ever see you do the checks or anything. So I'll start with, with that. He also made the comment about the fact that um, I it takes two hours to do the video. Well, actually, to be honest, it's probably 8, 10, 12, 12 hours. Uh, I'm not the quickest of editor. Uh, I know that um, there are people out there who edit a lot better than me. But the main thing is, you know, I do think they are improving. Um, and even though I say it myself. But you, you end up in an editing style. Um, and I appreciate those people that say that they do enjoy the the, the videos and hopefully you'll like this one it gives a little bit of background to um, what I'm actually doing and how I actually work it <laughs> and a little bit of a surprise when Rob told me that he couldn't reach the pedals so uh, anyway I hope you enjoy that one or this one I should say 
And the reason I'm starting early is the fact that some people never ever get to see the checks that I do. Oh, right. Okay. So what I'm going to do now is I take this up to 1700, and at 1700, check one mag, check the other mag. If you hold the brakes, we'll see how far we can go in terms of full power. I normally get to about 2,000 and can't hold it anymore, which is quite standard. I'm bringing it back to 17 and carb heat drop. Putting that back in and slow running. There's Chris. And there goes Chris. And slow running was fine. That's not a problem. Yep. Okay, thank you very much. I've got QNH set because we're at 180 feet, 80 feet as I mentioned earlier. Um, taxing out directly in front of the windsock because we've cut this bit. We also know we haven't got any major rabbit holes here. I'll check down the bottom of the hill to make sure that there's nothing, nothing there. And we know that yesterday we did cut the top of the strip. Well, we can actually cut half of the hill as well, but the bottom of half was too long. Right. And the topper had been leaving clumps um, in the gang mower. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, it wouldn't. It, it wouldn't take it. Um, it kept on clogging up, which was a real pain. Yeah. But I must admit the runway does look pretty good at the moment. It's not too bad. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to put the transponder on. Okay, are you happy with that? Yeah, I'm, I'm in, strapped in, ready to go. Again, as we came back down, I did a, a, my checks, which again, I didn't verbalise, which I should have done, but I think what I'll do is I'll put those up on the screen yeah. now. Okay, let's go. You know the same, you know the clump of trees that we're talking about in the distance? Yeah, I, I have to admit, the other day when I took off, I did use them. Yeah. At the moment, we're aiming straight for them. Yeah. Which means when it actually has an interesting little sort of bumpy, bumpy bits. Yeah. But if you look straight down, yeah. you'll see there's the runway. Yeah. So that holds the line in place. And of course, the other thing, oh, there is, oh, you've there got is Chris beside you. Chris beside yeah. me. The other thing that we've got here is we've got the the old base at Boxstead. And all right, there we are. So I take, I'm assuming that used to be one of the main runways then. Yeah, there's a main runway through here. Yeah. And there's another right. main runway which was running across in that direction. Yeah. Um, and a lot of the up farm um, lanes are using the old Perry track. Right. What I have decided to do, which I think might be quite good, and I, if I've got viewers who want to comment on it, yep. um, in that last one where I mentioned Lavenham, yep. and I put some photographs of Laban, Lavenham, then um, people said that they quite like that. So what I thought I would do is I would do at one stage a, a, a trip, put a circle round Nayland, yeah. which is about 10 miles, and therefore, there we are Chris, yeah. <laughs> um, a circle round Nayland, about 10 miles, yeah. and overfly all of the old bases that would sit within that 10 mile radius. Yeah. Because you'd be amazed. How many there are. You yeah. know, um, I've we've just literally there done Boxstead on the nose mm -hmm. now, very easily visible. Well, to us, I don't think the cameras are going to pick it up that yeah. easy. Is we've got Raiden Wings. Right. Now, you know, if you went back in time, you imagine what the skies would have been like with people yeah. returning into Boxstead yeah. returning into Raiden Wings, returning into Wormingford, 
the other side of Colchester there, you've got Birch, or I think that was a, um, a satellite for somewhere. Right. Over from Raiden, you've got Waddisham. Um, you've got... Uh, where Long Melford? No, uh, not Long. You've got Lavenham. No. You've got Sudbury. Sudbury, that's right. You yeah. know, so they... They were all um, active bases. Yep. What I'm doing now is I'm flying just a straight line. Yep. Um, just so w we can sort of work out how close it is in terms of real flying time. Hit so again, you can actually see yeah. the perimeter track of Raiden. Yeah. Uh, you can see where the long main long runway, runway was. was. Yeah. And if Maybe I one of the shorter ones as well. Yeah. There. Yeah. If I swing this way, I can line up with uh, Raiden's existing runway. But as you pointed out, and as I saw this morning. You can't land there at the moment. It's no. closed this season. Yeah. Because they said it's been damaged by by horses. The only the only part of it that's being used is this grass strip over there right? by the yeah. trees. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, you know, that is that is the runway. And I mean okay. I have in the past gone over there um and seen um Mustangs come oh. up and park over the other side there okay yeah um, but of course yeah if you put this in terms of a direct line from here back to Nayland yeah it's no distance at all no. the weather over there look yeah no, it's definitely it's definitely coming in but you see, you know, I've mentioned all the airfields this way. Yeah. But then if you go the other way, yeah. you mustn't forget Earl's Cone. And then it's not too far before you get Weathersfield and, and all of the others. Ridgewell, there's one at Ridgewell as well, isn't there? Yeah, Ridgewell, yeah. So as I say, I, I will draw a circle and I'll plot everything inside it. Remember what, most of these bases were American because East Anglia was effectively American, wasn't it? Yes. And, yeah. and the RAF operated primarily um, out of Lincolnshire. Lincolnshire, that's right, yeah. Yeah. So I was just looking on this here to see if there's any aeroplanes in here. But there is one flying over Sudbury at the moment. Yeah. As I say, it's weird that I haven't got anything coming on there. Would you like to take control just for a second or two? Yeah, I've got it. I have control. Yeah. Um, yeah no, and I tell you, I, one of the reasons I say well done is the fact that oh. you know, your seat is set up for Toby. Who's six foot four? Yeah, I was going to say because I was uh, stretching a bit there. There's no way yeah. I can reach the pedals. Would you like to take control just for a second or two? Yeah, I've got it. I have control. Yeah. In as much as that is definitely on, because if not, we wouldn't be operating from it. Yeah. Um, I hasten to add at this point, I have flown Rob a couple of. But I hadn't realised that Rob hadn't got his feet on the rudder. And the old girl was doing it all by herself. Although I was talking to John yesterday about the fact that, and I'll, I'll exaggerate it here, but come in at an angle. Oh, over that large tree. Well, to have missed the large tree, but also to come in over the lower trees. So, can do that. I think the bump is making that look worse than, uh, than the actual landing. <laughs> I think the bump's on the runway. Yeah, they don't help, do they? And when you get down on the ground and you look over there, you can see where it's looking pretty horrible. Yeah, I think we've got back at the right time, actually. Yeah. Well, that was a enjoyable flight anyway. Well, good. I'm glad you enjoyed it. Um, there isn't a point in putting the notification bell on because I have been as regular as clockwork for the last 322 videos, 7.30, Friday morning, local to the UK. Thank you very much. That's it. Right.
turn the noise generator off. Best button in the aeroplane, that. <laughs> <laughs> well, on the ground. On the is. ground, yeah. Well, yeah. <laughs> right, oh, we can have under this <laughs> first, isn't it, here? Okay, gonna turn this off. Gonna turn that off. Gonna turn that off. Oh, gonna turn this shit. off. Gonna take that out. Gonna put that there. Gonna turn this off. Gonna turn that off. Gonna press that to stop. And only one complaint: the air it, conditioning doesn't work yeah, very well. <laughs> inadvertently, inadvertently touched your knee there. Very, very sorry. Yeah, that was very nice. Thank you, Tim. Ed, appreciate that. Also, nice to be able to fly as well. <laughs> well, well done. Um, yeah, no, and I, I one of the reasons I say well done is the fact that oh. you know, your seat is set up for Toby. Who's six foot four? Yeah, I was going to say because I was uh, stretching a bit there. There's no way yeah. I can reach the pedals. Yeah. Um, so but yeah. Um, well, I would, if I was to fly this, I'd have to come because I can't reach the pedals. Well, you, you could do because look where my seat is yeah, by I've comparison got, yeah, to yours. Yeah, yeah. And you've probably got a bit longer legs than me as well. So you know, yeah. as I say, it is set up yeah. for Toby. But no, oh, no. I forgot to talk about my new hat. Oh. Oh God, you got another new hat, haven't you? you? I'm glad you put that because you're advertising leaf stock. Okay. Which is good. Um, <laughs> Yeah, this is, the, yeah. you know my old favourite with the yeah. buffalo wings? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I asked Phil to do it. Um, hmm? I think he has to just, it has to be sewn in that panel. Yeah. So if it comes down really low to fill up that, yeah. and then on the back, so that it's picked up by that camera, it says Joe Dale Flyer, but I think that needs to be in white, Yeah. because that will show up yeah, better. Yeah, yeah. And the other thing that's quite interesting is I'm now getting people, and I'm not selling it, I'm not pushing it as merchandising, etc. But I'm getting people asking me for my t-shirts. I've just had one printed that's going to New Zealand. All right, okay. <laughs> um, well, a lot of the guys do on YouTube, don't they? Get yeah. the merchandise and oh, sell yeah. it all over the shop. Yeah. I mean, um, I mean, I watch a couple of guys who's actually building a wooden boat. Acorn to Arabello, it's called. Yeah. And a couple of guys in America building this wooden boat, and I've been following them since it was just a lump of wood, and now it's they're coming on really great. And I watch it same as you every week, Friday, yeah. two videos, you and them. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> okay. Are they breakfast time uh, as well? Uh, they come on in the morning, yeah. yeah. Um, so I better than I don't. Obviously, when I get up in the morning, I was like, oh, well, quick look, right, are we here? Okay. <laughs> well, I don't watch you straight away. Then sometime during the day, I sit down and watch them. Yeah. I watched well, three right. of yours actually the other day because yeah. I also watched that one with you with um, the flying reporter flying out of here okay. when you went to Royal's Coast. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I watched that one again because I. Yeah, it's 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 nice and it's quite frightening sometimes when you look back and you think you know I've done three hundred and next week's will be three hundred and twenty three mm. I think and. When I think about the amount of work that goes into them, I was going to say it must take um, you a couple of hours to edit this lot. Doesn't oh it? no, more, more than that. Really? Yeah. I mean, oh, right. um, but that's why it's been so hard the last couple of weeks. I'm not complaining, but we've had the grandchildren. Yeah, because you've got, yeah. and of course you need to give them the time. Mm, um, yeah, so yeah. that has been, it's been hard work, especially when last week, when I did that one, which was going back to um, Hinderclay, I realised that what I did is I. I put this on, I turned it on, okay, hmm. like it is there now, yeah. but what I didn't do, and I, I got everything set up, but I, I sometimes think, I'm not going to film this because this will bore people. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So I normally, yeah. as I'm taxiing back there, yeah. hit record right. and hit play. Yeah. And what I did was hit play and obviously didn't hit record. No. Um, and it wasn't until... You see, that's now saying three. So that was the third. That was the third file. Was that mm. flight we've just had? Yeah. But when I was at Hinderclay, it said zero. Oh, right. So I thought, oh, yeah. sorry, I <laughs> haven't missed all the. I haven't filmed that. No. But uh, I have been filming our conversation inadvertently. Right. Um, so I will shut that off now.